Mr. Kazi, uh, Colonel, can you please explain to us what, he, what does that, the weight of the guys handing over a memorandum to you, what does that mean? I mean, who's in Zagalani since these guys? Uh, All right. What we, we have done today, we have received a pledge. It's not a memorandum as such. Okay. This pledge is a pledge of commitment by the Methodist young people in Dobsonville. Okay. They are pledging to say they will not involve themselves into crime and they are also going to ensure that they report any criminal activity that is known to them. So we appreciate the coming together of them to the police and ensuring that we have this partnership and it moves because more especially if the young people are also aware that more especially where we are there was a crime of murder which also involved one of our young person mm. in our area so mm. this is more than a physical battle it's also a spiritual battle which is uh, the alleged satanism or devil worshipping so we are saying we are against that they came in support in prayer together with the SAPS and young people around. So is there any um, campaign or any initiative you as Amapolisa are taking to say that you want to mobilize the community to report any suspicious uh, activities in Zagalayo and then uh, from the side the councillors Bonabatini in terms of Linda because you'll remember uh, last time you could draw on about two are you, do you have any initiatives from that side? All right, I think with the stakeholders that we're involved with, we, the MEC for Community Safety, uh, Ms. Mazibuk, was here and also pledged to say we'll involve the councillors to ensure that this place. I think we can also see there is something that is happening on the area there. The grass has been cut. They said they're also going to ensure that this uh, previously damp they are going to close it and ensure that the environment is um, is also safe enough for people that are around our area. So as the police, we are having initiatives on a day-to-day -day basis. We involve the community, we give them safety hints, we give them information about crimes that are happening. We have devised some pamphlets to give them information about crime so that they can report. So what we are saying, people must not buy stolen goods, and more especially these issues that involve the domestic violence at home, we always sensitize the community. It's unfortunate sometimes it's not easy to police crimes that are happening within uh, closed doors or within the households. Thank you.